Okay, let's move on to exercise 4. We analyze exercise 4, PDF 4, with the PDF ID and we get the output like we had for the other exercise, the previous exercise, but there is something new here. If you see the count for JS, it's 1, and the count for JavaScript is also 1. So this actually means that this PDF uh, document probably contains JavaScript and if you are analyzing malicious uh, PDF documents that you have found in the wild they are most likely to contain JavaScript because malicious uh, authors will use JavaScript to perform a heap spray to easily exploit a vulnerability in uh, the PDF language or in the JavaScript uh, language. So let's look with PDF parser at uh, this document and here I'm introducing a new option so I mean an option I haven't discussed before and that is the search option. With the search op option of PDF parser you can select specific uh, objects that contain uh, keywords and here we are going to look for the keyword JavaScript. Now the names that are used in the JavaScript language are case sensitive but the search uh, function that I implemented is not case sensitive so I can type JavaScript all in lowercase it doesn't matter it will find JavaScript uh, even if it is properly cased. So we search for JavaScript in exercise 4 and here we found object 7 which is an action object which contains JavaScript and here under the tag JS we have the actual JavaScript. So the uh, JavaScript here um, will actually display an alert, so a pop-up message that says hello from uh, PDF JavaScript. But when you open uh, this exercise 4 with Adobe Reader for example you will not see a pop-up and that's something I will uh, explain in the next exercise.